Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. And I have no glasses. And I have coffee. I have so much to do today. So much to do. I'm gonna be making a bunch of videos and I'm headed out of town. All right, let's get started with the Dollar Tree haul. There, it's a mixed bag. Um, I grabbed a couple of these towels this one has like cardboard stuff all over it, but it doesn't matter. Um, I use these for um, pottery in my pottery class. These are great. Just to wash my yucky hands on. And I'm not really supposed to wash my towels in mess at home in my sink because clay doesn't go down very well. So I will use these and um, they will just get rinsed off in a bucket outside. I guess I'm like Amish or something. I don't know. Um, I got popsicle sticks. These are the regular size ones for crafting. I was out. They're great for all kinds of stuff and they're disposable and biodegradable. So I like that. Excuse me. I went to the $5 or the Dollar Tree Plus and I grabbed for $5. This is a bamboo cutting board. I like wooden cutting boards, especially for like vegetables and stuff. I don't cut my meat on wood, but I needed a new one and I thought this was a good price for $5. We'll see how it works out. It's wood. It's big. You cut on it. Not a whole lot to say about that, right? Um, yeah, there just wasn't a whole lot going on again at my Dollar Trees. I'm not sure why, but I, I think I found some fun stuff. What is in here? Oh, I did find some fun stuff. I found this notebook that says living the dream because I'm living the dream, guys. I am living the dream. And I, I love these composition type notebooks for making lists and stuff. And I have some for travel and, you know, y'all know. If you know, you know. Um, but I also found, let's do a thumbnail because I got two. These are the Prang colored pencils. And this is the 50 pack. 50. So I grabbed one for me and I grabbed one for Sarah for school. If you got any littles that are in middle school, are going to have projects and stuff. This is a great deal. I'm trying to figure out how to open this to see what colors. Here we go. Okay. But guys, and I think these are decent. Look at all those colors. I love a colored pencil. I love coloring and art and all the things. And so when I saw that they had the 50 pack, I snatched, like I said, I got two. I only saw these at one of my stores, so keep your eyes out, but it's it's time to start, start thinking about back to school if you have littles or you wanna to donate to schools. I mean, I think any classroom would appreciate a donation of that to their classroom. I grabbed a toolbox. I love these for all different things, but I did get a pencil box for my pottery tools, but it's a little small for what I have. And so, um, it's, I'm going to take this label off the front. We've all seen these. They're great. And for Father's Day, I made one last couple of years ago for, um, a relative, a Christmas present. And I put on here, um, like man grooving or something, manscaping on it. And then I filled it full of men's toiletries for a relative of mine but i like that this is deeper i'm gonna put paper towels in the bottom to try to keep things clean and then i have all of my like tools like this and they'll just drop down in there um like everything else in my pottery stuff it's messy so i want to keep it contained and i thought the pencil box was okay but this is gonna be better so i grabbed that i picked up ooh, Speaking of Father's Day, I don't my my I don't currently have a father that's living. I guess is the best way to put that. Oh my hair! But my niece does, and her dad, who's my brother, is a avid golfer, and he lives in South Carolina. So this is a car coaster, and it says, "This is how I roll." And then a matching one says, "All right, this is how yeah how I roll." And this says, "Don't mess my ride." 
So I grabbed her two of those to give her dad for Father's Day, which I thought was super fun. Um, in the Mother's Day section, they have these little face wipes. These are the ones that are super soft, and I love these for travel and face. And this is a nice small one um, because I use these frequently to wash my face. I don't like a lot of soap and chemicals, but I do love just to wash my face with something really soft. And honestly, it's super soft. Not as soft as the pink ones, but it is definitely soft enough for, oh, I thought it was printed on one, but it's only printed on one side of one. But these are great and they're small and they dry really fast. So they're fantastic little tool. Um, I found these and I don't know if they're new. I keep thinking the camera is over there, but it's over here. They're just the mesh bags for gift giving and for things to get. Four of them, it's sheer organza, but I like them because they have the stars on them. And I'm doing some acrylic. I've been doing the epoxy pour. I have a video coming up where I used the Dollar Tree and I was so impressed with it. Spoiler, if you see it, grab it. Um, so I, I made some stuff, but this would be fun to put things in to gift people or whatever. Right, right. Oh, I found one of these. I only found the one for my patio. I'm hoping to find a couple more um, just to put in like a bowl on my patio. Now, I know they have them in the dog toy section, but I do like the um, the solid. And one of the stores, I think Target had a navy blue and white. So maybe I'll find them at Target at the dollar spot. I'm not sure. My store doesn't have their summer stuff out at Target yet. But I did find one of those. And in one of my Timu hauls, don't ask me which one, I have four coming up, uh, but I got a candle making kit, it's an airplane, and I thought this would be pretty to make a candle in. And it's just an empty, you could put a votive in there or whatever, but I got a wax melting candle making kit, so I thought, perfect, I can make a candle in here. And I might try to see if I can find some citronella um, essential oils and make an outdoor cam candle for my patio. Um, for the resin, what I'm looking for, sorry, I'm just picking up this mess. What I'm looking for is, and I don't know if they'll have them this year at the Dollar Tree, but in the summertime, those mesh, they look like umbrellas, but you sit them on food outside to keep flies and things off your food at picnics. I want one of those for my craft room because the cat fur and the resin don't mix. So if I can cover it up, any stray fur that's flying around won't get embedded in my resin. If you know what I mean. Because it's not even about keeping them out of there. Their fur is everywhere. I'm just reaching. I'm just reaching, guys. Um, alrighty. I did pick up three more pair of the diabetic socks for my brother. Um, when I see them, I tend to grab them for him. He likes these. Um, if you're not aware, they have the looser ankle. So if you have a thicker ankle or calf area, these aren't tight. And that's what he likes about them. And they're pretty wide in the foot and they work out well for him. They're not the best quality, but for a dollar pair or dollar twenty-five, they work out well, well enough. So I got to pass those along to him. So I did that. Um, just some boring stuff. I grabbed some aluminum foil. I like this size because it fits a sheet pan or is it a half sheet? I think it's a half, it's technically a half sheet, but it's the sheet that fits in my oven, which is big enough. But this fits over it completely. If I'm doing like bacon or something and it makes cleanup super easy. It's not the best as in durable, like thick, like a Reynolds heavy duty, but it's good enough, you know, for what I need. I picked up, oh, speaking of the the masks, they have, I got the lemon one, or the face wipes. I think they're called magic, or supposed to be like a magic eraser for your makeup eraser or something like that. I was trying to take this one out. It's a light pink. So they're definitely coming out with different colors. I have a ton of the dark pink ones. Okay, never mind. Um, oh, yeah, this is, they're so soft, guys. It's just, it's so nice. Like, it's so nice. 
and I, I also travel with this size frequently. It folds up pretty small, goes in my makeup bag. And as long as I, I lay it out to dry like that, it doesn't like get smelly or anything. But if I wad it up on the counter sometimes, it does. So I will say you wash it, you wash your face. I rinse it out really well and then I hang it over like the towel dryer and it doesn't get any odor. I wash these in my washing machine and I throw them in the dryer and they do great. I talk about them all the time because I love them. Mm. And they would be great for babies too because it's so soft. Um, I don't really have a need for this, but I did need it. It's a zip tie, guys. Look at the size of this zip tie. It is gigantic. You get eight of them in here. What am I going to do with these? I don't know, but I'm going to do something because they're big and they're fun. I love a zip tie for all kinds of stuff, but I wonder if it tells me how big they are. 20 inches long. I know. I just saw them and I said, girl, you need those in your life. And, and then I said, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, I picked up, like I always do, the um, Tilmuk Original Smoked Sausage. These don't have any sugar. And that meat right there is nine grams of protein. So this is fantastic snack for me on the go. And I grab them every time I see them and I pack them up with my lunch for work, if I'm bicycle riding. So this time I got, I think I bought six, but I had one while I was out and about because that's how I do things. Um, so yeah, I grabbed about, I grabbed five or six more of those. I just put them in my snack cabinet and when I need them, I grab them and go. Those actually are going to come with me on my trip to Canada because they're a perfect snack to have, um, take to the table with me and just have when I, there's not really a lunch situation handy for me. Um, okay, so then I went this morning to the Dollar Tree and found, I'm sorry, now they have the iron-on vinyl. So we have the regular vinyl, the glitter vinyl, they have the fake leather, and now they have iron-on? What? Um, heat transfer vinyl. I need to t test it. I have not. This is the first time I'm seeing it. They had black. And then they had some foil colors and then they had some glitter colors. And I was like, let's just go with the solid for now. I have plenty of heat transfer vinyl, but I don't have any Dollar Tree. Duh. So I grabbed this and I would like to pair it up with the Dollar Tree iron that I bought and see how that works. Um, the little craft iron that I got at Five Below. So I grabbed that because duh, we need that in our life. Um, I also got the large popsicle sticks or I technically these are tongue depressors I suppose but for crafting uh this these are good for mixing the resin paint any type of mixing that needs to be done that I can just toss it away um and I like the larger size for that so now I have plenty of craft sticks to make all the things I have some colored ones popsicle sticks but I was really afraid that in the resin the ink on the the wood or the paint on the wood would go into my resin and discolor it. And I didn't really want that. So I just got the plain. Um, I found these are new. They are burlap flowers. And this brand, they are made for, they are distributed by Greenbrier. It's Birch and Vine is what they're calling this, Birch and Vine. And it's a 12 pack of just little burlap flowers. And they do have a little because Dollar Tree can't do anything without bling. They do have a little bead or charm crystal in the middle, but you can pop that off, which I will. And then they just had 20 leaves that you can glue together or do your crafting with. So I thought, well, this is fun. I've not seen these before. So I grabbed one of each. I don't need two of everything anymore, right? Right. Um, I did pick up this. It is a necklace. We know what it is, but here's my thought. A couple thoughts. Number one, when I'm crafting or at a retreat or whatever, I can wear it as a necklace and I can put my scissors in here for my floss so I don't lose my scissors, right? Or I could use this as a floss drop and keep my floss in this hole. What? I know, I'm kind of excited to see what I come up with for this. 
but I want to purchase a mold or I could make a mold, I suppose, out of silicone, but this would be fun for um, floss drops or keeping my craft, you know, pieces of floss on something pretty, especially if I'm doing something that is just one color. I think that would be fantastic. Um, for my clay work, I bought this as a magnet and it does say life, life goal pet all the dogs. But I want to ask my guy if I can use this as a like bone in the middle of bowls to get the round shape, right? So he had given me a piece of plastic that he cut into a circle and you hold it in the bowl and it rounds out the bottom. And I think this would also work for that. So I'm gonna take it to pottery. I just need that round shape. I could care less, like I'll just peel off the magnet off the back. I could care less about the magnet, which quite frankly is literally held on with a tiny little drop of glue. So I can get this off, but I'm gonna see if I, that will work for that. I picked up another pack of these. I use these literally all the time. Everywhere in my house, I use these. They're just little clips, right? They have a good squeeze to them. Right now, I'm looking across. I have a three-tiered cart for all my cross-stitching stuff. And I have this held on to the side of the cart. And I have my rings of floss for my projects I'm working on just hanging off of them. I use them for chip clips. I use them to hook things together. I use them all the time. And I'm losing them all the time. So I grabbed another pack. I typically keep them in my kitchen. But they get they end up all over the house. That's how we roll around here. All right, two more things. Number one, it's a pen. Who am I gonna annoy at work writing with that? It's like a fidget toy. There, it's like, it's that rubbery stuff with little beads on the end. And listen, and then there's a pen. I need to take that to work. Basic, basically, it will drive my, my coworkers crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's neat, and I thought it would be fun to have around the house. I need to get the seal sticker off. Why, Dollar Tree? Why? I, I ask this question fairly regularly, and I know that y'all have the same question. But, like, why do we have to put gooey stickers all over everything? It really does drive me batty. But, pen. Maybe I'll take it to the cross-stitching retreat and use it while I'm using writing on my patterns. That'll be fun, and that could drive everybody at my table nuts. All right, last thing I found at my Dollar Tree, which I'm shook about, embroidery hoops. What? Like what? They have two sizes. Um, I guess, does it say? This is a four inch and a six inch. Um, when I travel abroad next year, one of these might come with me, probably this one, but I love this. It is the same as like a wooden one, except for, I'm gonna show you something that's different. So I gotta open it up. And the thing, you really have to open these wide. The thing that is amazing about these is look at that groove in there and the groove in here you can see it, it's going to hold my fabric. The wooden ones, the fabric just kind of slides out, but this has a tongue and groove in it. I'm gonna take one to show my, my peeps at the retreat. And then you have this really nice um, screw that you just screw it in and it tightens down. So the bolt on this end has a, has a, um, hole that fits it perfectly. It's a hex shaped hole. So you just tighten down the screw and now it's tightening it in here and your fabric isn't going anywhere. So I grabbed two of the small one because I like, you know, this little size is fun for ornaments, but I also was thinking I could display some things, but this will be a working size for me. What? what? I know. So I'm going to take these with me and we're going to try them out this weekend because I'm not going to have time today to do much stitching because I'm trying to do all the things. But I know. 
So that was my like surprise purchase. I walked into my regular Dollar Tree and like Shazam, there it was. So that is everything I purchased at the Dollar Tree this week. I hope you enjoy. Stick around for my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe um, because I'm going to have some content from Canada coming up in a week or two. All right, everybody, have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later.